Hey, it's Holly over at Green Time Workshop. Well, today I'm going to be making some of my apple cider soap that I make with Panquick's apple cider. So I'm going to kind of walk you through what's going on. Now I'm going to move you down here and show you what I have going on. Now in this crock pot right here, I already have some coconut oil. And to that I'm going to add, this is olive oil, golden jojoba, and castor oil. And that's going to go right on in to my crock pot. Okay. Now what you see here, this is water. And this is potassium hydroxide. Now this is a little different form of lye that, uh, than the sodium hydroxide you use to make bar soap. Potassium hydroxide is for liquid soap. Now I'm gonna add my potassium hydroxide to my water, just like that. Let me get all that in there. And what's gonna happen is a nice little ectothermic reaction. Notice I'm standing back, you can't see me because there are fumes coming off of this. This is heating up like crazy right now. And this is when it's dangerous because this is not only ripping hot, and is also extremely caustic. So we have that mixing in and diluting. Okay. Now, if I was making bar soap, I'd have to let this cool down, but I'm not. So this can go right into there. Now I'm going to carefully pick this up and pour it into my oil. All right. Now I'm going to take my stick blender and start blending it up. Now I'm going to move you over here so you can kind of see what's going on. All right. There we go. This is the first crock pot that I did. And this one is got a little bit of a head start on that one. So, see how we got bubbles already? That potassium hydroxide is already saponifying with those oils. So it's already turning to soap. And see those bubbles in there? Now this has to get stick blended for about 20 minutes. This just keeps going back and forth and back and forth. It's pretty boring if it's on video. But once it hits a certain uh, time, it's going to start thickening up. And it's going to get really, really thick, and I'm not going to be able to stick blend it anymore. At that point, I have to use a spatula, wooden spoon to kind of turn it around. But then it's also at a really dangerous point where out of nowhere, it can just do this volcano thing and just bubble up and boil over. I've had it happen. <laughs> so I am really careful. In the very first, like, 45 minutes to an hour to keep a very close eye on this soap. See, this is already starting to get a little bit more creamy compared to this, which is more than liquidy. Right. Whoop, splash a little on me, but that's okay. I'm gonna let this sit for a second and we'll be back. Okay, so here we now have what's called big thick trace. Looks like mashed potatoes. Now it's kind of a little bit out of that danger zone from boiling over, but it can still happen. So we have to keep kind of stirring this around and smashing it and not letting it get too, too hot because that's what ends up happening. If it gets like really super hot, that's when it'll bubble over. It all of a sudden gets like liquidy and just goes Bleh. And it is the worst cleanup ever. So we just keep stirring it around and smooshing it and watching it. Now this other one over here, I'll move you over here, 
This was the one that was kind of a little bit behind. This is still not thickened up yet. But again, you see all those bubbles? We're already starting to saponify and turn into soap. So this one will thicken up pretty soon, just like that one. And then I get to sit here all day and stir this stuff and watch it. Every 20 minutes, I have to come back and turn it around and stir it and smush it. So on these days when I have to cook this soap, I'm here for quite a while. <laughs> so anyway, we'll be back. Okay, so we're about four hours into the cook and see how it's starting to get this Vaseline looking color going on in it. Hang on, let's see if I can. There you go. So it is still far from being done, but it's getting there. Probably about four more hours of doing this. Yay. Okay, here we are at almost six hours. Still not done yet. Just keep on cooking. All right, so our soap now has been cooking for about eight hours and it is done. Now, it's hard to imagine this, haha, -ha, ooh, <laughs> as liquid soap, but this is gonna be the apple cider soap. So what we have going on is cider. <laughs> apple cider from Pankowick Cider Mill. There's also some apple cider vinegar in this, and I had to heat it up because if it's not hot and I put it into a hot crock pot with hot soap, it's gonna crack my crock. Don't want to crack crack. Okay, so what we're gonna start doing is pouring a little bit of this in to both these crock pots. There we go. And it'll be a full gallon of apple cider that's gonna be going in here. We're not gonna be using any kind of water. And then slowly, I start kind of mushing it up with my stick blender and with my trusty wooden spoon to start getting it moving around and loosening up. And then eventually what's going to happen <laughs> is it's going to all be liquid. So I'm going to start working on this and then we'll show you what it's going to look like. Okay, so we almost have... <laughs> this thinned out a bit. You see kind of how it looks like some crazy weird applesauce right now. But it just has to be thinned out with all the apple cider while it's still hot. Because if I wait until tomorrow morning to do this, it'll be a complete chore. It'll take forever. Usually I've done it before and it's taken me over like an hour and a half to get this to thin out and to get all those lumpies out of it and all incorporated. So if you do it while it's still ripping hot, a lot less time, a lot easier. <laughs> so now it's all got all the lumpies out. And what this is gonna do now, this is gonna sit overnight and then tomorrow morning, I will check it again, see what the consistency and the viscosity is of it. Okay, so now it's the next morning and this is what we have. All the soap has been diluted down with the apple cider and mixed up. Now it's in its phase of resting. Now, if you can see this is starting to get a little bit more clear. This one's kind of setting up as well. And this one just at the bottom, it'll go all the way up and it'll turn into this nice dark amber color. So it'll sit like this for about mm, a day, day and a half, and then it goes in the bottles and then it's ready to sell. So there you have it. This is the apple cider soap.
Thanks for watching.